Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight we're back here. We're playing at Dolan, and tonight I uh, got another round of Reddit stories. Today, well, hope you get the ring because we got ourselves horrible first dates. Oof, not sure how bad things are gonna get, but uh, prepare for some cringe, I guess. So, without any further ado, be sure to like, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's see what happens. Planet Dolan. Planet Dolan. Huh, Ursa. Alright, should be fun. From dealing with the date's bratty brother to dealing with an angry shotgun-wielding father, the Yikes. Planet Dolan crew reenacts okay. some of the best true <laughs> stories be from our subreddit about the most horrifying first date experiences we've ever had. I'm Doopy, and today hey, Doopy. I'll be Good your narrator. You Number 10 was submitted by okay, T94XR. Emoji was 16 when he met a girl who was cute, giggly, and fun, so he asked this her out. Stink. Emoji had no money, so he cooked bacon and eggs for dinner, but that Oof. wasn't the worst of it. Her mom <laughs> stayed for the date, and Emoji eh? was like, Um, what? Why is your mother on our date? He was heck? a bit confused, so her mother explained. Turned out she was actually Russian, adopted as a baby to her parents, and that she was really nine years old. Well, she has Whoa. some growth condition in which she has the body Whoa. of a 15 to 16 year old. The parents were completely understanding, Whoa. knowing that Emoji Whoa. saw a 16 year old Whoa. girl, Whoa. which technically she is, she has the body of one. Her parents yes. were quite understanding that he wasn't actually wanting to date a nine year old girl. Emoji and the girl remained friends for a while, but after some time lost touch. Number nine was submitted by there. E. Hickey. Pringle's right. horrifying first Pringle? date was mm -hmm. when him and his girlfriend went out for a bike ride in a nearby forest. Hey, what happened? He fell a few times, she fell once or twice. When they made it almost to the other side, she started hyperventilating or something, and Pringle didn't know what, what the, to do, uh, so he okay? said they should go back. She wasn't able to reply to his question until she caught her breath when she said yeah. When what Pringle happened? got back on his bike, he twisted a nut. She saw all the color drain from his face and asked if he was all right. He gasped quietly that he wasn't. Then an awkward moment of silence passed. Yeah, let's just walk. He said they should just walk. If when they got back to her house, which was Ouch. only seven houses down from his, Pringle realized how muddy he was and went to change. In the Oof. end, he didn't get to be romantic with her. He twisted a nut and had to throw out a pair of his favorite jeans. Number Oof. eight was submitted by InfoChan. One time, Gooby went on a date, except the guy brought his friends and his little brother along. They went Awkward. to an indoor laser tag place and played for a while, and then the guy's little mm -hmm. brother was swapped for one of her teammates. Now this kid was at least six, but he was the most volatile and disrespectful kid she had ever oh, met in her Got life. Okay. He wouldn't listen to a single order she gave him. After a while, Gooby ended up slapping the kid straight across the face. Then, Ooh. once they got done doing that, they okay. ate pizza at the same place. The kid intentionally put his chair next to hers. He had zero manners. This kid shouted, reached across the table, burped in her ear, and leaned so when he farted, it was towards her. Gooby knew she should have beat the shit out of that kid. Number- Okay, to be fair, you did slap him. I mean, what did the kid do? I mean, couldn't been that bad. Eesh. I mean, no offense, but eesh. I'll be real, not a good way to impress the day by slapping their kid for I don't know why. Yeesh, Infochan, what the heck does she do? What the heck the kid do to you? Eesh. I mean, other than, I don't know, orders? Really? Yeesh. You know, hearing that story, I don't know if it's more a brat, more just the girl was just, I don't know, being a jerk to the kid. And yeah, the whole farting. Burping, I'm saying that's more the kid getting some payback, you know, because again, you did slap him. What do you expect? Yeesh. Anyway. Number seven was submitted by Candle Shy. Last year, Shima and her boyfriend met through a mutual friend at a paintball course. Their what meeting happened? was bad enough, as she tripped on the field and accidentally shot him in the face because she's obviously graceful. I hope the you had a mask date on. Was just awful. They didn't go on their first official date until a month later while them and their teammates, or paintball buddies, were piled up at the beach okay. for a weekend. Shima and her boyfriend oh. went to this nice restaurant where their waiter dumped a full glass of wine on her right from the go and didn't even apologize. Hey. The rest Seriously? of the night at the restaurant was uneventful. A better review for that. They walked out by the bay for a while, took a carriage ride, and went back to the hotel in high spirits. 2 a.m. rolls around and Shima is hugging the porcelain throne like it's the only Ooh. thing she's ever loved. 
She's got freaking food poisoning, and her boyfriend sat in the bathroom with her, I holding really her hair back while she puked, and had mucus I'm running shy. down her face. Ugh. Worst date and beach trip ever. Number yeah, six was submitted Sheesh. by Jesse Simmons. Oh. Oh, Lady Bot met this guy who was mm. older, like mm. way older, which is fine because she likes older men. They went on a date uh, to a nice restaurant coming? and were laughing and having fun until she looked at the door and saw a lady mm. run in. Lady Bot oh. was confused but also excited, thinking that she's gonna see this guy or some girl get busted cheating. But she runs I up to their it, table and go. yells at Lady Bot's date. Come to find out that was his wife and she was screaming and yelling. He got her out of there because uh, she was getting violent. What? They got in his car and he explained that him and his wife were still married but were getting divorced. Which really? Lady Bot understood and they've been together ever since. Now she has a great stepson. Number five was submitted by... Oh, the stepson's Kelsey. okay with that. <laughs> well, Pandora had invited her boyfriend over to meet her parents and have dinner with them. His parents had an emergency and had to leave him behind. He didn't say a word throughout dinner. When they finished, Pandora told him, Love, why haven't you spoken to my parents? It's embarrassing. Then he looked what up happened? at Pandora and said, Well, today I went to buy condoms and I was really excited. I told the cashier to wish me luck tonight and the cashier was your brother. That night, Pandora's Oof. mom made him sleep on the couch. Number four yeah, was submitted by Mon like Creed Coward. Would do. Dolan's brother has a dating story that began innocently enough with an agreement to meet for dinner. She seemed quite normal when they emailed each other, and gave no indication of madness to come. The day began normally with a meet and greet which commenced dinner. However, things went downhill from there. Within two oh, minutes bad. of meeting, she picked up the steak knife as they were eating at a steakhouse and told him that she heard voices. Then, she took the steak knife and stabbed it into the wooden table repeatedly and twisted it. Dolan's brother began to have the sense that the date was already Yeah, that's over. a friend out of your life. She Time had a strange little smile on her face as she twisted the knife into the table. And he told her that he forgot something in his car. She looked at him puzzled, saying, You're coming back, right? He smiled and reassured her. Mm, yeah, of course I'm coming back. And got the hell out of there like a bat out of hell. Would you have stayed for Miss Basic Instinct? Number three. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna go take a call. I'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> like, seriously? What? Voices are ahead? Like, for real? Honestly, I probably also warned the staff, like, uh, hey, uh, lady I came up with, I just think I've been twisting it to the table. Uh, heads up. He has voices in her head, man. Look out, man. Just be careful with the waiters, okay? Just... If she gets violent, just call the cops. I'm just saying, you gotta get those things in order. Uh, anyway, moving on. Number three was submitted by Satellar Knight Altair. The worst okay. first date experience Tolop ever had was when he was 13. He oh. dressed up really nice and even took her out to Outback Steakhouse for dinner. Hmm. The bad part was when she came then. with him, she was dressed in drag and even bathed in perfume after he told her he was allergic to that kind of thing. And yet she well, used she so much prick. that Tolop went into an asthma attack in the middle of the parking lot. People took photos and video of it, including her, and then he went to the hospital for three days. I Tolop hope you also suit her. a rib and tore four muscles that day. Now he has to wear a gas mask in public so he doesn't choke to death on perfumes. Thanks a lot, humanity. Number two was Yikes, I really by hope you her. Like, Reed. you know that was Tom deliberate. Tom invited his girlfriend over for a bit to watch some Netflix. She had agreed to come over for a bit, but seemed a little uncomfortable about something. So when she showed up, they sat down with some popcorn and watched mm -hmm. some movies. When he asked her what was wrong, she refused to tell him. Then hmm? there was a loud ass knock on the door. Hmm? Slap Tam got a little worried that it was a robber, so he didn't answer. Eh? There was a loud gunshot, and the door handle had a gunshot sized hole in it. Then things Ooh. got worse when her dad walked in holding a shotgun. Slap Tam Beep. called the police, and when they came, her should. dad was arrested and taken into custody. Then she broke up with him for getting her dad arrested. Damn, all the protective parents. My first date was absolutely horrible. It wasn't How bad. bad, it was just really embarrassing. I was about oh. 13 at the time, and my boyfriend was 14 or 15. 
We were in a long distance relationship and he had come down over the summer to see me for the first time. And when he came, I froze completely. And it only got worse because he also froze and we couldn't even talk to each other. It was so embarrassing and so awkward. At the time, the Nintendo DS was really popular and we both had one and we used the chat on there to communicate with each other, which is really awkward. We ended up going to the mall in a movie, and the entire time we didn't speak a word to each other. And I remember I actually got sick watching the movie because it had a roller coaster scene in it, and it was a first person view, and I got motion sickness, so. Oh, (laughs) that sucks. Yeah, um, eventually we did warm up to each other and talk to each other. But the beginning was so, so embarrassing. Yeah, I can imagine. Huge thanks for the folks over Yikes. That has to suck. You know that? Ugh. Man. Also, the one that wore perfume and drag, you know that perfume thing was, like, intentional. Like, seriously? You were trying to kill the poor boy. Like, like I said, to tell the night, Altair, just... I hope you suit her. Like, dude, you had to, like, know that was deliberate. Like, seriously? Ugh. You gotta feel bad for these poor fellas. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, like, subscribe for more. We'll see you around. Good night, everybody.